lead to the commercialization of sodium ion batteries as soon as the cost of lithium ion batteries will increase again. The cost of lithium has experienced a significant surge, jumping from $4,450 per ton in 2012 to $78,032 in 2022. This represents an astonishing increase of 1,654% over the past decade, with a notable 480% spike in 2022. Consider the scenario where a new type of battery is priced at a mere $15.15 .15 per kilowatt hour, while traditional lithium batteries are valued at $101 per kilowatt hour. These revolutionary battery advancements are being introduced by CATL. The reasons behind the inexpensiveness of this remarkable battery and its benefits are about to be explored in this episode of Techstar. Thank you for returning to our channel, kindly express your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell icon to ensure you don't miss any of our engaging upcoming videos. Now, let's dive into today's content. The pace of battery technology development is so rapid that it can sometimes be challenging to stay abreast. CATL has meticulously established an extensive supply chain for batteries and is currently in discussions with certain automakers regarding the utilization of sodium ion batteries. Sodium ion technology is not only cost-effective but also safe and prepared. However, can it successfully compete against lithium-ion technology? Elon Musk took to Twitter to remark on the astonishing surge in lithium prices. This prompts the question, so how does the price of a sodium-ion battery compare to a lithium-ion battery? The most notable advantage of sodium ions lies in their affordability. Sodium constitutes 2.3% of the Earth's crust, making it more than a thousand times more abundant than lithium. Examining the raw materials for anodes, lithium carbonate is currently priced at $570,000 per ton, whereas sodium carbonate costs less than $3,000 per ton. As a result, sodium ion batteries are a staggering 190 times more economical than lithium ion batteries. CATL has pointed out that sodium ions exhibit superior conductivity and allow for a reduction in electrolyte concentration, which consequently slashes costs by around 85%. And they're, they're more common, uh, easily found, cheaper, though those are the advantages. The anticipated cost of a Tesla 4680 battery pack for the year 2022 is projected to be $101 per kilowatt hour. By calculation, this innovative battery is estimated to have a price of around $15.15 .15 per kilowatt hour, indicating a reduction of almost seven times compared to the 4680 battery. Consequently, if you possess a Tesla Model 3 standard range with an approximate 50 kilowatt hour battery capacity, the replacement of the battery pack with the new sodium ion battery would incur a cost of $757. This expense is notably economical for a battery with groundbreaking potential. How far can the sodium ion battery go? Regarding the travel distance achievable, sodium ion batteries generally cater to the requirements of passenger car models with a range of up to 248 miles. Through their pioneering AB battery system integration technology, CATL has successfully integrated sodium ion and lithium ion components allowing them to complement each other and thus increase the overall energy density of the battery system. This strategy empowers sodium-ion batteries to support electric vehicle EV, models with a range of up to 310 miles, in contrast to the 279-mile range of the 4680 Model Y. This indicates the promising outlook for the use of sodium-ion batteries. Charging time is what most electric vehicle owners care about. So how long does it take to charge a sodium ion battery? The charging time is a significant concern for most electric vehicle owners. The charging duration for CATL sodium ion cells to reach 80% capacity at room temperature is 15 minutes. In comparison, utilizing rapid charging at a public station, a Tesla Model Y takes 32 minutes to go from 0% to 80% charge, which is twice as long as the new battery. How well does sodium ion perform in freezing temperatures? 
Regarding performance in freezing temperatures, lithium-ion batteries function optimally within a temperature range of 15 degrees Celsius to 35 degrees Celsius, making them problematic during winter conditions. On the other hand, Colt sodium-ion battery maintains an impressive 90% capacity retention rate at minus 20 degrees Celsius and retains over 70% capacity at minus 40 degrees Celsius. This addresses the issue of electric vehicles struggling in cold weather, and there is no significant degradation observed at higher temperatures. How safe are sodium-ion batteries? Safety is a paramount consideration, and sodium-ion batteries offer enhanced safety compared to lithium-ion batteries. The working principles of sodium-ion batteries resemble those of lithium-ion batteries, involving the movement of sodium ions between the cathode and anode. However, sodium ions possess larger volume and higher structural stability and kinetic property requirements compared to lithium ions. This has posed a challenge for the industrialization of sodium ion batteries. The safety of sodium ion batteries is underscored by their lower flammability compared to lithium ion batteries. The novel sodium ion technology incorporates a naturally fire extinguishing solution that remains resilient to temperature variations and can function at high voltages. The key factor contributing to this safety feature is the ultra-thin protective layer formed on the anode. This stable ultra-thin layer ensures the extended cycle life as reported in research. Despite significant advancements, the chemical composition of lithium metal batteries continues to present considerable challenges. What specific challenges do these batteries face? I understand that sodium ion batteries have a, a lower energy density than lithium ion. The primary drawback of sodium ion batteries lies in their reduced energy density when compared to lithium ion batteries. Consequently, an electric vehicle equipped with a sodium battery of the same dimensions as a standard lithium ion battery would have a shorter range on a single charge. CATL's initial iteration of a sodium battery produces 160 watt hours of electricity in comparison to a conventional lithium battery. In the past year, CATL introduced its first prototype of a sodium battery and has been dedicating its efforts to developing advanced technologies for a second-generation sodium battery capable of delivering 200 watt-hours per kilogram. In contrast, widely used lithium-ion batteries possess an energy density within the range of 200 to 300 watt-hours per kilogram. Despite the ongoing improvement in their energy density, the first generation of sodium ion batteries currently outperforms lithium ion cells from about six or seven years ago. Can it be applied in real life? It makes a difference in the kind of applications in which they're used. The initial iteration of sodium ion batteries finds utility in a range of transportation electrification contexts, particularly in areas characterized by extremely cold temperatures, where their exceptional benefits are prominently showcased. Furthermore, these batteries can be seamlessly customized to cater to the specific application requirements across diverse scenarios within the realm of energy storage. We see that various new batteries are being investigated in the lab, but it takes 5 or even 10 years for them to reach the market. Will sodium-ion batteries be released soon? China and also a large battery company, CATL, recently announced that uh, they will go on production actually in 2023. CATL has devoted substantial efforts to researching and developing electrode materials for sodium ion batteries over an extended period. The company has announced its plans to commence mass production of sodium ion batteries in the early months of the upcoming year. However, the process of transitioning this new sodium battery from laboratory development to full-scale commercial production might span a time frame of 5 to 10 years. Sodium ion batteries are projected to eventually take center stage as the predominant choice, with lithium ion batteries potentially finding their niche in high-end vehicles. For everyday usage, the cost-effective sodium ion batteries are expected to replace the need for pricier lithium options. This transformation is tantamount to a revolution on par with the emergence of electric vehicles themselves, offering a more economical and feasible battery alternative. As for the timeline for the appearance of sodium ion batteries in the market, it remains uncertain. The adoption of this technology for personal devices like smartphones is also a point of interest. 
Feel free to share your thoughts on these developments in the comments section below the video. And with that, we conclude today's episode. We wholeheartedly express our gratitude for tuning into today's video and for your continuous support of our channel, Techstar. If you found our content enjoyable, please consider leaving a thumbs up, sharing the video, subscribing to the channel, and enabling notifications to remain informed about the latest advancements in the realm of electric vehicles. We look forward to connecting with you again in our next installment. Until then, take care and stay safe.